Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Vishon Jones, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC, and I promise you, this is like the third time of me recording this video because somebody came to the door, FedEx with the package, somebody called. It was crazy. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to say the same thing that I said in the beginning, except you didn't hear it. Um, get info is a feature of the finder, the built in capabilities of your finder. And it's so that you're able to get the properties of a file or a folder. And a lot of the information in the get info window is the same for both the file and a folder. And there are a couple of differences that we'll point out. So I have my second computer here, which has Samantha on it. My main computer has Alex. So in case we're listening to both of them at the same time, you can differentiate between the two. So we got Samantha and Alex. Samantha is the mom. Alex is the dad. Uh, Alex is bigger. Samantha is a laptop. Whatever. So listen, coming up. In the month of June and July, we're going to have a four-part series on Safari. It's like a jungle sometimes. I keep from going under or something. It makes me wonder or something. Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to have um, a four-part series on the Finder. We're going to take a deep dive. We're going to dive into the swamps and the jungles of both Safari and Finder. But for now, let's take that dive into Get Info. And remember, I told you it's the properties of a file or folder. Very, very important for you to know. If somebody said, hey, how big is this file? Or, hey, tag this file. Or, hey, um, when was this file created? When was this file modified? All of that stuff is found in Get Info, as well as some things that you can sh uh, change or share um, as far as properties uh, is concerned. All right, so Samantha the mom, we're going to pull up in Finder. Let's see. Finder. All right, and we're going to go to Downloads, which is a folder. Device underscore foundation underscore brochure dot PDF. Shut up. PDF downloads has rules. Hazel rules. All right. And so notice mine said download has rules. And then it says Hazel rules. That's because I have an app on my folder uh, app on my folder. I have a app on my computer called Hazel. Um, you can look it up. We might do a deep dive into Hazel, but um, it manages a lot of different types of files. But the information that I'm going to share with you, it doesn't vary no matter which app you're using. So you're fine if you don't use Hazel. I just wanted you to know that um, you're going to hear something different. Now, if you don't mind, one sec. If I could take a drink of this Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm trying to watch my figure. Ah, thank God I didn't choke. Uh-oh. Almost had to burp. I'm not going to do that. That's super rude, and I don't know what the mute button is. So, all right, here we go. All right, so on the downloads folder, get info is done with a command I. No matter whether you're on a file or a folder, command I is get info. And this works in other applications as well. So you can just try it if you need properties of a file or a folder. All right, command I. Get info. Download Hassle Rules info. Window. Download Hassle Rules image. Right, Download Hassle work, Rules info. Window. Work. Worry about that. Downloads has rules. I told you. Yours is not going to say that. Download has a rules. Download 20 club modified. Download has download has 20 club modified. All right. So it tells me. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. Stop. Close. Command W if you want to close. It. Close right. window. Drop F O team folder. F public. Roy. Elements. Camera uploads. Folder. Let me do this. Home. Downloads. Folder. All right. So. <laughs> I apologize. That was my Hazel downloads folder. So I'm on the regular downloads folder, which you'll have. All right. Command I. Get info. Downloads info. Window. Downloads image. All downloads right. info. Window. Downloads image. All right. So I'm going to the very top. Downloads image. That's the image of the downloads folder, whatever that looks like. We're in get info. I'm going to veal right arrow through this whole thing and kind of talk about it as I go. And... Excuse me. That was a light burp. I'm sorry. I was thirsty. All right. So I'm in downloads, right? And uh, I'm going to VO right. I'm going to talk about each feature, how to use it very, very quickly. Downloads. 796.5 megabytes. All right. That's how large the folder is. It's 700 point whatever um, megabytes. All right. Almost a gig. All right. Okay. Modified. So the data was modified. Now I just turned this computer on for the first time since May 25th, 2019 at 4, 24 p.m. Modified. 
May 25th at 4.20 whatever p.m. So that's the last time this particular folder was modified. Something was added to it. Something was changed. Something was taken away. Hazel emptied the trash. Um, any of that. All right. So modify. You know what that means. May change. Something changed, right? All right. Tag editor. Edit text. Add tags. All right. Tag editor. You can type in your tags. What is a tag? Well, a tag is uh, something you can put here, like a sticky note, to help you remember. So I can name this uh, music downloads or something. I wouldn't really tag a folder unless it was a folder in a bunch of other folders. And I'm getting very, very complicated. But a tag is a way of saying, hey, it's like when you move, right? And you put all the boxes labeled kitchen. You can do the same thing with folders and files. Okay. General, expanded, disclosure, triangle. All right, general, expanded, disclosure, triangle. So what that means is you're in the general portion of Get Info, and it is expanded. I can collapse it. Uh, Collapsing general. Right there, and so now it's collapsed. It means you can skip past it without having to go through it. But I'm going to expand it. Expanding general. All right, and that's VO, uh, what is this key? Hold on. Starting keyboard help. Type keys to hear backslash. Control, Video option, backslash. escape, stopping um, keyboard. Allows you to command or collapse any type of uh, triangle that you see in any app. Extra tip. Okay, so we're in the general portion, like a, a dresser, and you're in the top drawer or something. General, kind, folder, kind. All right. Kind, it's a folder. I told you that. Size, 796,472,854 yeah, bytes, 803.2 megabytes on disk for 28 items. All Size. Right. But notice it gave me how big it was in actual. There I go again. Uh, actual da 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 da. And then it told me it's 24 items in there. Um, great information to know. Stop burping, Vashon. Stop freaking burping. You're recording live. All right. Where? MacBook HD right pointing small triangle users right pointing small triangle FO drive. Where? All right. So where is it located? It's on my MacBook. It's under FO drive, which is the name of my drive. Yours may say Macintosh HD and um, under users. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's where it's located, baby. Created. Tells me when it was created. July 8, 2015 at 6, 33 p.m. Created. All right. So basically, this is when this drive was first created back in july of uh 2015 so there you go modified may 25th 2019 at 4 24 p.m modified all right i told you when it was modified and there it is again shared folder unchecked checkbox all right so it's not a shared folder in the event that you did want to share this particular folder with other people on your computer and or network you would check this box wouldn't recommend it but you know you can all right you can it's just a checkbox. Locked. Unchecked. Checkbox. All right. And it's not locked, which means I don't need any type of uh, security measures to get into it. But if you wanted to lock it, you can check it. Wouldn't recommend it, but there you go. More info. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. All right. And so now you're in the more info section. You're like in another drawer. Um, say your sock drawer. It's going to be a bunch of stuff in there. All right. Here we go. More info. Name and extension. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. All right, that's something that needs to be corrected. I apologize. More info. More info. And then that, and there's nothing there. Okay. So under that, it's actually redundancy, but nevertheless. Name and extension. Expanded. Disclosure triangle. All right. Name and extension. Name and extension. Downloads. Hide extension. Dim unchecked. Checkbox. All right. And so it just lets you know that it's in downloads. It's a folder. It's no extension. Down hide extension. Dim unchecked. Checkbox. And it's dimmed because there is no extension like dot txt dot doc dot, you know, that. Comments. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. All right. You can make comments like if you were sharing the folder and you wanted to tell the people that you're sharing it with. This is the financial folder. Or this is the um we talk about everybody in the job folder or whatever. It doesn't matter. Write your comments there. Comments. Edit text. And you can type them. Preview. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. All right. Another drawer, which is the preview. 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 Image. Sharing and permissions. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. All right. There's nothing there for that under preview. Sharing and permissions. That's where you want to share or give someone else uh, access to it. Sharing and permissions. You have custom access. All right, and I got custom access, of course, because it's my computer. Privilege table. All right, now here's the privileges table. We all know to interact is a VO shift down arrow. In privilege table, FO everyone, FO drive, me, user image. 
All right. So it tells me, of course, I have privileges because FO Drive, it's me. I'm the user. Go down one in the table. Everyone. Everyone image. All right. Everyone. That's a no no. Privilege. Read name. Everyone. Everyone image. Column right. one. Row two. And so everyone is the second option and privilege. No access pop up button. No Column access two. Row two. for everyone else. No access name. Everyone. Privilege. Read and name. FO drive. And me. I'm sorry, User I'm image. Back on the Column first one. Row one. Item in a table, which is me and VO right arrow. Privilege. Read and write pop up button. And Column course, two. Row one. Stop. I have read and write privileges. Um, then we go to name everyone. Everyone, everyone image privilege. No access pop up button. No Column access. two. No access. No access. No access. No access pop up. And that bong means we're at the end, so we can stop interacting. Out of privilege to add button. Um, we add. Can add people if we want. I don't. Remove dent button. We can remove, remove, but there's no one to remove because we haven't added anyone. Action menu button. Then we got action. action. I'm a VO space bar on that. Menu. Apply to enclosed items. Ellipsis dimmed. Uh, nothing's enclosed um, for that. Revert changes dimmed. Revert changes. We didn't make any, so we don't have to revert back. Revert changes and dimmed. Bong mean that's it. So I don't need anything. From Action there. menu button lock selected toggle button. Action lock selected toggle button. All right. Um, and then you can lock it. Lock selected toggle button. And that's it. Let me make sure. Out of scroll area. Yep. That's can it. scroll down the lock selected toggle button. And let me make sure that says locked and that logged. So. Uh, VO shift. Last phrase copy to the clipboard. And I'm gonna bring up stickies. Doc. Safari Siri stickies twist finder. Downloads info window lock dim selected toggle button. Doc stickies is launched in the background. Stickies HTTPS colon slash slash www. Dot new sticky. Now I could have did this the easier way, but I like doing it this way. Finder stickies button. HTTPS new line new line HT new line new line uh -oh. new note untitled window edit button button toggle select lock L O C K space S Sierra S lock L O C K space S E L E C T E okay. echo lock. lock selected selection right. delete so if we just wanted to lock that finder uh, finder downloads info window shut up, lock shut, shut up. select lock selected out All of right. scroll area you can see how it sounds funny though it kind of lags lock so I didn't know if it said logged or not. All right, so that's the get info window. Command W to get out of that. When we're dealing with folders, you'll pretty much see the same thing. It's of the enclosing folder um, will be a bit different for other types of folders, which means if you wanted to apply the same settings to the enclosing folders um, that is would be or could be in a, another folder, then you could. So, for example, downloads folder, and then I have old downloads, new downloads, and downloads I want. Those are three folders inside of downloads, and I want to make the same changes that I made in one and the other. I could. All right. So, close window, download. Now I'm in downloads. I'm going to go to a file, and we'll see what's different. List one item selected John Mayer style backing track and C number MMP3, MP3 audio. All right, so this is a John Mayer style backing track in C minor, and it's an MP3 file. Want to hear a little bit of it? Let me see. Quick look, window. John Mayer style backing track in C number MP3. And then I play my saxophone, I make it go like this, and I say, ooh, do, 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 do. All right. Downloads. They're going to get me for DMCA protection or something like that. All right. So get info. Command I on a file. This is the difference. Watch. Get info. John Mayer style backing track and C number MMP3 info. Window. John Mayer style backing track and C number MMP3 image. John Mayer style back. Shut up. How many times you going to say it? John Mayer style backing. All right. John Mayer's 12 point modified. 12.7 megabytes. 12.7 megabytes. That's how big that song is it's uh pretty big it's pretty long it's pretty cool too i like like how the beat look comes in modified uh so this was modified i bet you it was on the 25th why because it was the last time i opened the computer and this is what i downloaded may 25th 2019 at 4 24 p.m yeah, modified there you go tag editor edit text add tags that's the tags that's the same general expanded disclosure yeah, triangle general general kind mp3 kind oh now notice under this general you have information what kind is it mp3 audio kind I told you that though. Size. Here's the size. I already told you, but it's gonna stretch it out, boy. Watch this. Twelve million six hundred seventy-four thousand nine hundred fifty-eight bytes. Thirteen point two megabytes on disk. Size. <laughs> All right. Bam. Well. Where? MacBook HD. Right pointing small triangle. Users. Right pointing small triangle. FO drive. Right pointing small triangle. Downloads. Where? 
All right, and it gives you the path where it's located. Created. Tells you when it was created. Watch this. May 25th, 2019 at 4, 24 p.m. Last created. Last time I opened up this particular computer. Modified. May 25th, stationary pad, unchecked, checkbox. Now, I skipped over that where it says modified because we already know it was May 25th at 424. All right, stationary pad. Bet you don't know what this is. I bet you don't know. I'll wait. All right, you don't know. All right, so a stationary pad is actually a way for you to create a template from a particular file type. An example of that is if I type my letter here, and I'll give it to you. It's uh, Fedora Outlier LLC, 20 Belmont Farms Drive, Ellenwood, Georgia, 30294. Phone number 404-368-8669. Uh, email excellence at fedoraoutlier.com. And um, I typed a letter. Dear you, thank you for watching this video. Sincerely, Vashon Jones. Let's change the world together. Um... And I wanted to save that as a template because I don't want to keep writing this letter over and over again. If I know I'm going to send it out to a thousand people, I just need to change the name. So instead of Dear You, I put Dear You Alls. <laughs> um, and it's when you check that, um, it would make that particular file a template without messing with um, the original document that you open. So that's when you would check that. That's when you would use that. Um, and it happens when you don't have professional applications that will do that for you, like Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. You might be using TextEdit. Um, and so there you have it. Locked. Unchecked. Checkbox. It's not locked. You can lock it if you like. Put a password on it. If you like it, put a password on it. More info. Expanded. Disclosure. Triangle. Uh, more info. Here we go. More info. Where from? HTTPS. Slash slash in 3 cc uh, You don't need to know where I got this file from, baby. You just know it's a John Mayer style backing track in C minor. How about that? Last opened. May 25th, 2019 at 4, 24 p.m. And that's when it was last opened. We Duration, 08, 48. All right. It's 8 minutes, 48 seconds. That's why that MP3 is 12 megabytes. But what if you didn't know that? Hey, how long? All right, you know, and you, just, you need to know this information, but you didn't feel like playing the track and doing all that it tells you right there get info baby audio channels here it goes audio channels i bet you it's two stereo stereo yep sample rate 44.1 kilohertz 44.1 name and extension expanded disclosure right, triangle now we're on the name and extension it's gonna be dot mp3 i bet you name and john mayer style name and extension john mayer style backing track and c number mmp3 content selected edit okay. text and you can change the name there as well and it'll change in finder notice it said edit text hide extension unchecked checkbox we can hide the extension which means it wouldn't say mp3 it'll just say john mayer style backing track and c minor no dot mp3 comments expanded disclosure triangle your comments we went over that comments edit text Open with expanded disclosure triangle. All right, and we didn't get open with, but because it's an MP3 file and I got several applications on my computer that can open it. Open with iTunes app default pop up button. Now, iTunes is def default. I can make this uh, VOC, which is actually what I need to do. So let's do it. Menu that. check amazing audacity compress down droplet droplet every note app. There we go. Efficient app. Quick time radio link transcribe VLC Vox app VLC app. Press VLC app VLC app pop up button. All right, that's VLC. So now whenever I open this file, and I'll show you at the end, it'll just open in VLC versus iTunes. Use this application to open all documents like this one. All right, now use this application to open all documents like this. So all MP3 files, if I were to select this option, would open in VLC. I don't want that. Change all button. Preview. Expanded. Disclosure. Change triangle. Um, I could have selected, but I didn't. So Change preview. Expanded. Preview. Disclosure. Preview. Preview. Image. Play button. We can play it from here. Sharing and permissions. Expanded. Disclosure triangle. Sharing and permissions are going to be the same. Sharing and permissions. You can read and write. I can read and write, but you can't. Privilege. Table. You got the same table. Add. Button. And we can add, add people. Remove. Dimmed. Button. We don't need to remove, remove people because we haven't added them. Action. Menu button. And we got action. action. Same action. Lock. Selected. Toggle button. And we got locks. Why does she sound like she's so sick on the word lock? Lock. Lock. Lock, so lock, selected. Bong, and that's it. So that is Get Info Explained. So take any file, take a photo and see how it differs from what I just told you. Take a movie and see how it differs. The information heading is going to be the same. The information that you get based on what it is is going to be um, different. So I promise you I would open up this file and show you how that changed. Let's get out of Get Info. How do we do it? 
Command W, that's right. Close window, downloads, window, column view, browser one All item right. selected. John Mayer style and backing track. Open with, uh, well, let's do it this way so you can hear it. Menu, open. Watch this. Column view, application, alert, system dialog. John Mayer style backing track and C number MMP3 is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, opening John Mayer fine. style backing track and see opening John Pell open cancel Did open button press up finder downloads window column view browser one item select VLC is launched in the background you system has new window for the app even launches the song is still playing if you don't know alert what I'm from saying, core services UI agent core services John UI Mayer style backing track see how yes, that MP3 is from an unidentified developer are you sure you want to open it open it Well, it's time for me to go practice my saxophone. And I'm out. I'm gonna pause this. Print VLC. John Mayer style back and dragon C number MMP3. Window. Table. Row to fifth finder. Find and there you go. That is, ladies and gentlemen, get info in all of its purity and magnification. Sorry about the um burping in the beginning, but you know, I needed something to drink. Let's change the world. Let's get some info. Don't forget to watch our series on the Finder and Safari coming shortly. And um, let's change the world. <laughs> you got it. Together.